What's up, YouTube? Bagpiper coming at you in the mod shop, aka Patty's Garage. And I am uh, using my Dagner Cobb. And in it, I have some pirate cake. Both of these were gifted to me by uh, my good friend Corey, standard Texan. I gotta tell you, this stuff is delicious. If you like Latakia, and you're okay with something being strong in Latakia, that's probably a wrong way to describe it. <clears throat> Granted, it is 75% Latakia, from what I hear. I don't really think it's strong. This is really good. I'm loving this. I'm trying to build that cake up on this so that I can open up that 10 of 965. I think it's fitting that I'm uh, using gifts from uh, my friend in Texas to introduce to y'all <clears throat> another fellow in the pipe community. His name is Boogie Down. Or at least that's what he goes by. Uh, you've heard me mention him a lot. Uh, with the leather pipe stands and trays. I've seen Mod Piper show you his uh, leather tray from Boogie Down. I sent Boogie some uh, pipe stands and tobacco and uh, along with the traveling cobs he was the first stop on the traveling cobs because he's going to make a pipe stand to go with those cobs put it in a package and send it out. He sent me two videos he sent me the one of him showing off the cobs for the uh, traveling cob. So I will be doing another uh, YouTube video just for that to go into that playlist. And then he sent me the one getting the, uh, the pipe stands. And I keep telling him he needs to make a YouTube channel. I don't know of any YouTuber, especially in the pipe community, named Boogie. So he's already got his YouTube channel name down. And he keeps telling me that he's not a camera guy. He doesn't really know what he's doing. and But he did say I could go ahead and post his videos on YouTube. And if enough people said they liked it. And wanted to see his old mug. That he would start a YouTube channel. He, uh, he makes briar pipes. Right now he's been making them, making them out of the kits, but he wants to make them, he wants to get his own solid blocks of briar and go the whole nine yards on it. And he's really talented with that. He's a really talented leather worker. And uh, he's just a good friend of mine. Uh, we've, we've got to know each other really well over the last couple of months. So with, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put in the video that he sent me doing his first Yabo. And then uh, when we come back, I'll tell you what I think about this here uh, fire cake. All right, we're going to do uh, a Yabo, I guess, as y'all like to call it. Um, this is for Ben, the bag piper. He sent me a box. Um, I guess y'all like to start with uh, what you're smoking and what you're smoking in it. Uh, smoking a David Jones XL King Kong Poker and smoking some hobbit weed in it. So, that is that. Okay. Put this stuff up. This is all. This is all part of the 
fraternity of the traveling COVID band has got going on. Uh, I was the first stop after Ben in the great state of Texas. So I'll be smoking these a little bit later. There's a video up on that already. So y'all can watch that. So we can put this to the side for a second. And we'll get into the good box. All right, he sent me a bunch of samples. He sent me a sample of shortcut to mushrooms, which sounds extremely exciting, and I'm gonna have to try that. Uh, Frog Morton. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Not, I'm mainly an arrow smoker, but I would definitely try anything once. And uh, he sent me some Java, which I've heard good things about as well. And then he sent me some Peter Stokeby Luxury Bullseye Flake. And I love smoking flake. And then he sent me a couple pipe racks. Man, these are, these are cool. I got one of his um, knuckle duster desktop stands from him that uh i won on pipes by numbers man and i love that thing uh, so he made a couple of these now these hang on the wall so that's gonna be that'll be pretty cool hang that on the wall put you a couple good pipes in there and you're ready to go and then he also sent me another one that he made same thing hanging on the wall this one's got a leather back on it um, he probably did that because I'm the leather guy I guess you would call it I make leather trays and leather pipe holders and stuff like that um, I don't have one right now because my poker sits up by itself but yeah he got these and man they, these are cool I can't wait to uh, hang these on the wall put a couple pipes in them I'll definitely have to take some pictures and send Ben once they get once they get hung up for sure. And that is it. So that's it. Like I said, I'm not a video maker, so uh y'all uh y'all just take it easy. That was Boogie. I think he did a good job. Leave a comment down below and uh in a day or two I will send him the link to this video. He's already subscribed to my channel, so he'll probably see it. But the more people comment on it, tell them they want to see him, the quicker we can get another uh, YouTuber in our midst. And he's a good guy. I got to tell you, I'm really enjoying this pirate cake. I don't think it's overpoweringly on the Latakia. It's a really good smoky blend. I really like this stuff. I'm gonna. I actually already have it on the list to uh, get more, and it's only like nine seventy seven for two ounce. About two ounce ten. It's crazy. That's awesome. <clears throat> Corey, this this thing is smoking great. Uh, that hole down in the bottom. Isn't really giving me any trouble. It's a good clincher. It's a good sitter. <clears throat> it's uh, the start on my uh, poker collection, which apparently now I have more than I thought I did. I'll put some pictures in on that. That's all I got, guys. Just wanted to uh, throw a boogie out there. Good old Texas boy and uh, see if we can't get him to make a YouTube channel. I'll come back with another video for his uh, traveling cob entry. Y'all be good to one another. Keep them fully and rolling. Bag Piper out.